Man, how many toilets? Man, how many toilets to what's the toilet to shower ratio in your house? Well, uh, one to one. All right. What if I told you my house is now three to one? We have three showers, one toilet. <laughs> how do you have three showers? I'm 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 thinking about your house right now, <laughs> and I remember two tops. Uh, two of them are right next to each other in the same bathroom. Okay. <laughs> so. so uh, yeah, two yeah. showers are next. One is a standing one, and one is a tub shower combo. Okay. And, and then, then the other bathroom has a full tub shower combo. So, and the only toilet is in the first floor? C- currently in our bedroom. <laughs> okay, so, so, so you've I, removed uh, a toilet. I've removed two toilets. <laughs> okay. A rookie, rookie mistake. <laughs> so it's not that you have too many showers it's that you just keep taking the toilets away i keep removing the toilets why are you doing that uh we're remodeling both of our like smaller bathrooms okay so um and i wanted to put the floor in correctly now when we moved in i like cut toilet shaped pieces of floor and like put them around the toilets mm-hmm. it looked terrible it looked like I used crazy scissors, you know, like the zigzag ones. Yeah. Terrible. But now I've I've removed the toilets and now I just have to cut out a little like hole for the floor. Like I cut out a little moon shape out of two pieces of floor and then it goes around a little toilet hole. Easy. But I got overzealous and I've destroyed two bathrooms at the same time. And now I realize there's only one there's only one bathroom in our house. See, I thought you were accidentally taking the toilets out, you know? No, that would be funny. Yeah, I mm, no, I can't even I can't even backpedal this into an accident like yeah. like a like a bathroom accident. Yeah, like a really funny dookie joke. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any of those. <laughs> Not at this hour. Uh, But yeah, so I'm I'm worried I'm going to run out of toilets, but I figured I'd record uh, before leaving more bathrooms out of commission. Yeah. And you, you, you're on limited time here. You got to get back to the toilets. The toilets, the toilets need me, or the gaping holes at least. Do you have you have to stuff a rag down your toilet hole when you take them out? Yeah, so that the toilet water doesn't hit you in the face, right? <laughs> no, wait. No, there's I, so like you remove the toilet. There's a big gaping hole in the floor. It like yeah. spits sewer gas into your home. So oh, you, so you muffle it with a a rag, I guess, and then I'm like. All right, well, there goes one rag. And now I'm, now I'm running out of rags, too, because I'm just stuffing all these these holes. The sinks, Man. too. I ripped all the sinks out, so I got <laughs> these gaping holes everywhere. You have to wash your hands in one of your showers. Well, I keep I touch, like, nasty toilet hole, and then I go to a sink, and the sink doesn't work because I removed it. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are all sticky, Richie. My mouse is covered in toilet. It sounds um, quite like a disaster. At the, yeah yeah but hey that that goes to show i'm glad that this week all i had to do was play touchscreen games with my sticky toilet hands yeah which inadvertently decent like toilet games right <laughs> i did i played zero toilet games that's like the last dookie joke that will be said on this podcast what's that green day album <clears throat> dookie oh <laughs> <laughs> It's that that's the one um yeah so i i've been playing a lot of phone games well i've been playing one phone game a lot and you've been playing phone games right yeah i've been playing phone games because i i got a new phone and it came with three months of apple arcade yeah i i have a i've been testing like a theory this week sure um i might go to like some kind of scientific journal to get this published but my theory is that like the human brain wants it's been like rewired to want the endorphins that um, social media gives you. The soul, you know, James, the heart. Mm-hmm. The meat and potatoes of the body. Yeah. It it yearns for the monster design of Akira Toriyama. <laughs> yes, that it does. The heart wants slimes and drackies. And uh, so this is what I've been doing this week. 
I, I set a timer on all of my social media apps on my phone. I get five minutes of Instagram. And when that's done, it says, hey, no more Instagram. Does it lock it up? Yeah, dude. Whoa. I, I mean, I, I can unlock it, but I have a, I have a little bit of self-restraint. Um, five minutes of Twitter. I, I give myself 30 minutes of Tumblr. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but I'm I'm allowed to play as much Dragon Quest V as I'd like to. <laughs> we might need to put a lock on that too. No, because th- again, this is nourishing my soul. Okay, so you still get the rush of doing the the pop 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 the touch in your phone. Does that mm-hmm. kind of help with like the what your what your mind wants to do on your phone, but your body's getting nourished by the monsters? Yeah, it's like. I have an impulse at all times to pick up my phone and open up an app, you know, not even thinking about it. But if I limit the amount of apps (laughs) that I could, that my brain wants to open up to and only really make Dragon Quest V available, it turns out like I can play a lot of Dragon Quest V. Um, So that's my suggestion of the week. Just like lock up all of your social media apps. And put uh, Dragon Quest V on your phone? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yep. How um how do you feel about so my the biggest hurdle for my like playing any phone games for my entire life is that I hate touch screens. I hate them. Yeah. I wish there was I wish somebody put a big like analog stick right through the center of my phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. And the the funniest thing is like I think when I first brought up Dragon Quest V on this show, I was a little down on it. I, I was like, I don't know if the touchscreen format is like good for this. You know, it's hard to control your character. Yeah. And it's funny that we have this record. It's almost like, um, you know, when you're a kid and you mark like your height on a wall to see how much you've grown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I, I think maybe the telephone is the best place to play this game because I sure did play a lot of it. Dude, I think I'm almost done. Oh, my God. So I I'm um I'm pretty familiar with Dragon Quest V, but on the DS, and I think I'm leaning towards your opinion on this as well, because they have that game is just a long game. Like mm-hmm. it was a uh, well long in terms of uh, it's elongated. The screen is <laughs> uh, <laughs> the screen is like, phone shaped. Like the ratio is long. Yeah, and that just like destroys my eyeballs on the DS because it's it's cut in half. So it's sort of like they're moving together, but you have the hinge cutting the screen in half. Mm-hmm. So my eyes kind of go all like chameleon when I try and look at it. But the phone, <laughs> it, it looks like it, um, you know, it's all on one screen. It looks good. It's smooth and it's in your pocket at all times. Mm, I think I so I play I have Dragon Quest six on my phone and I've barely touched it. I feel like I maybe should have gotten five. Yeah. I mean well how far did you make it in five? Uh I became no, I got into like the one of the earlier caves where it has that first sign of like uh this looks like a warning, but you don't know how to read or whatever. Uh okay, so you're still a kid. N- yeah, I, I, I'm still a kid. Yeah, I mean I don't think it's a spoiler to say like this game just takes place over a lifetime. So that's kind of like a good marker of like, you know, how far into the game you are. Right now, I- I'm like married with kids, dude. What? Do you get to, <laughs> do you get to pick? Yeah. Your kids? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you do get to pick your wife, though. Oh, shoot. Um, All right. And, and it's, uh, it's Pokemon as well. Okay. I think I can turn this into just like interview questions to convince me to play f- five on my phone yeah um for like the the map for example how do you know yeah. where to go because unfortunately when i pick the game up i'm hoping for that dragon quest 11 um rab telling me hey last time on dragon quest yeah. you did some some shit how funny would it be if it was still rab just <laughs> but it's dragon quest five <laughs> that's uh, why it's here, here, so old here's my solution i've just been using a guide oh damn son on your phone yeah Yep. Mm-hmm. So you just like sw- switch the, the tab <laughs> switch, on your phone? Switch to Chrome, which I have to unlock manually. Cause I you have a lock have... on Chrome? <laughs> yeah. I lock everything but Dragon Quest V. Um, <laughs> for, okay, so this is something I left out in my theory. Mm-hmm. When my alarm hits at 8 a.m. You lock that out too? 
everything's locked so that I get out of bed <laughs> oh my and don't just like open up. Dude, we're making big moves. 2023. <laughs> it sounds like you have a phone designed for babies. Yeah. You have I a mean, Fisher Price iPhone? <laughs> Only plays Dragon Quest? Got no games? Uh, if that phone existed, I would probably get it. That would be awesome. Only does text messages in Dragon Quest. <laughs> <laughs> you can only text slimes. Oh, sweet. Yeah, no, I've been using a guide. Just, dude, it's like an old game, and it's a little archaic, and things have changed since then. So mm -hmm. essentially, my RAV is my Google Chrome tab uh, with this guy's um, really detailed guide. Oh, tell me as a game facts. No, it's like I, this person's, I should probably, maybe I should like shout it out. Yeah, you probably could. I mean, especially when uh, I can't imagine older games get clicks, but maybe sometimes they get a surplus of in clicks when someone says that <laughs> a single guide is good and a game is good. Uh, so it's Almar's Guides, A L M A R S Guides dot com. What the heck? They have a really good Dragon Quest Five guide, um, but the Monster Collection is where it's at. If, if I'm still trying to sell you on getting this on your phone. Um, yeah. Now, you had sent me a screenshot before of a bunch of nasty-looking monsters. Did you catch them? Th they, for the most part, you only catch the cute guys. Um, oh, nice. I got a, you know, I got my Drackey named Vlad. Uh, I, I started realizing that I really like Drackey. Hey, Drackey's great. Like, Drackey could be the Pikachu of this game if, like, slimes didn't exist. Yeah, unfortunately, the slimes are like, they're really good. Yeah. So iconic. I got a slime knight named Gudian. Now, a slime knight, is that the one where the knight's kind of hanging off the side of it? Well, he's kind of like sitting on it like a yoga ball. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, this morning, I got like my weekly report. Do you get those at least on your iPhone where it tells you like how much time you've been spending on your phone? Uh, yeah, I do get those. Yeah, so I was playing Dragon Quest V when my weekly report came up, and I took a screenshot. Uh, oh, it, what are we saying, Matt? My screen time is up 33%. Whoa. For an average of four hours and 37 minutes. But it's good for my soul. It's not like I spent that time on TikTok like... You know, you my... were gaming. You were using your phone for good. Yes, Exactly. But you've yeah you've been also using your phone. I yeah so I I've been using my phone. I don't yeah. know what I want to talk about first though because I'll I'll start at the beginning before mm -hmm. the days of Apple Arcade. Yeah, I picked up Chrono Trigger on my phone. Dude, and I feel game, like that might be next for me. Okay, now this is one. It's you know you'll probably be fine because I think it's I should probably just have a guide open and you know tab back and forth. Yeah. This one I did find I preferred playing on the DS because it keeps the map open up on the bottom. Okay, yeah. So I, I probably played for, I don't know, I got like three hours in there. There's a lot that happens in the beginning of that game. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's old, but it's sort of, you know, it's a time travel -y game. You go you go back quite a bit. Um, I, I hear it's the best. I... <sighs> It's got like some of the best combat, especially mm -hmm. for like an older RPG. It seems like games are still trying to take uh, take a note from it, especially that chain. I don't know if you have ever tried like Game Pass or something, but they got a uh, chain chained echoes. Is that the the hot new thing? That's a lot like Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I think so. I haven't yeah. played it. I don't know, but people are still chasing that Chrono Trigger dragon. But yes, it plays very well on phone. I wish I could have a map open up at all times, though. Yeah, you need another phone for that. Yes. But the reason I stopped playing on my phone is because I got a new phone, Richie. And it doesn't oh, that's fit. Right. It doesn't fit in my dang controller. Oh, uh, like a backbone? Yeah, I have a backbone. Okay. So it uh it doesn't fit on my phone anymore. And Damn. <laughs> And I just I've been having a, a hard time playing games that you know, were probably designed for a controller. Yeah. So Luckily, with my phone came three months of Apple Arcade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got some nonsense games. There's like a 
a Mario Kart, but it's all like really funny Family Guy characters. <laughs> Is it wait like a Family Guy license? <laughs> I don't know who licensed it because also like Hank Hill is in it. Is Fox? it? Yeah, is that is that a Fox <laughs> Fox property? <laughs> Probably. It's, it's like the multiverses of Fox. Yeah, so it's like Hank Hill, Peter Griffin, and uh, Solar Opposites, which I think is another one of those, uh, you know, Rick and Morty adjacent, haha, dookie joke shows. Yeah, yeah. Who do you uh, play as? No, dude, I skipped right over that. I was honestly turned off from the Apple Arcade until I kept scrolling. So you didn't even open. <laughs> I opened the... Apple Arcade. No, I scrolled right past it. I was like, dude, I'm not playing. Is this the only game on here? Because like Apple Arcade opens up weird. It's pretty aggressive. It will open up and show you like full screen video of gameplay of like this thing playing. Yeah. I'm like, dude, is this the only game on here? So I, I figured you just kind of have to scroll down and then it starts showing you other recommendations. Mm -hmm. So anyway, So what caught your eye? Uh, that would be Pocket Card Jockey. Oh, that's right. That a, did come out. A 3DS classic. But they... Uh, re remastered it a little bit they uh, mm -hmm. you know redrew the lines uh have you ever heard of like what this game's all about or like you know the, the gist of it game freak made a weird solitaire game about like <laughs> yeah purgatory and racing horses is that right did i get that uh, you kind of crushed it <laughs> sick yeah so right off the bat you just <laughs> you kind of like die. yeah <laughs> you die you try and like you want to be a jockey but you're not good at it so you're like oh i'm gonna try and use this horse and it immediately kills you yeah you're uh, too tall did you know that wait <laughs> what are all jockeys are like really short isn't is yeah. that true i i don't know if it's like a weight thing you know you want like a, the horse probably wants a lighter rider yeah that makes sense yeah so yeah you get killed by the horse immediately uh and like an angel looking guy shows up which like, by the way mm -hmm. are, i'm terrified of horses aren't you scared of horses too uh, or is scared, am i thinking of someone else no uh scared is probably a strong strong word like dude i'm not afraid of horses yeah but there's they look vacuum sealed like they're <laughs> they're, just, <laughs> they're they're too strong. Yeah, they're like their skin is too tight and they're so muscular and their their face looks like you know, you've kind of like pinch your arm, you kind of get some like you know leeway, kind of get some skin yeah. there. A horse, I feel like you just slide right off. There, there's <laughs> yeah. no give on that skin, uh, and I yeah. I hate them. <laughs> I don't so, like horses either. I feel like they would kill me, and I would have to play solitaire for the rest of my yeah, life they're they're a creature i wish the horses kind of just remained free it'd be awesome to be driving to be like holy crap that's a that's a big dog in the distance yeah um but no we shouldn't interact with them but unless yeah. you're playing pocket car jockey so you, you meet some sort of uh angel deity person it's like hey unless you become the best jockey you're going to hell and he's like that place is the pits and I was like, oh, wow, that's um, that's a bit much for what I would kind of just thought I was jumping into a solitaire game. Mm -hmm. uh, and your guy obviously has his reservations. He's like, but I am terrible at being a jockey. I just got killed by the horse. <laughs> the horse yeah. has killed me. Um, that's about as bad as you can be at jockeying. Yeah, so the angel asks, like, hey, what are your, what are your dreams? What are you good at? What are you good at? And that was that one screenshot I sent. He's like, well, my actual dream is I want to have a son that loves me and who's never mean. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I could relate to that guy. Yeah. Um, but then you say you're good at solitaire. So the angel makes a deal with you like, hey, what if I made your jockey skills translate to solitaire? So if you're good at solitaire, you're good at being a jockey. Okay. Yeah. So gets into the tutorials of it and all. Uh, the races start, you have to play like you have to win a single row of solitaire. You clear out mm -hmm. two cards and then you can start the race. Then around the first lap, you do a whole round of solitaire. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of trash at solitaire, but it is fun. This 
it feels like a game that I can actually play with touch screens because I'm touching little cards. Yeah. You know, I, I don't feel bad about not using my expensive controller. Now, I have a question about the solitaire. Mm-hmm. Is it actually just solitaire or do they like blow the game up in their own way? Yeah, there's like, eh, it's it's pretty solitary. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, uh, like, I, I, I really like when games take these like traditional games that have been like untouched for like centuries. Yeah. <laughs> like, all, all, also on Apple Arcade is, um, it's called really bad chess where it's just chess, but like the chess pieces are randomized every time. Okay. That's yeah. I think we might've talked about that one. Uh, maybe yeah. it, it does a little bit to solitaire, I should say. Okay. So the laps going, you play around a solitaire. Once you get through that, you can then pick your horse's position on the track. Mm-hmm. Now, you can go towards the middle, which means you'll have a really like hard game of solitaire, but you'll be in a very good position for the last stretch of the race where you actually need to move your horse around. So like the last right. you play two to three rounds of solitaire and you're trying that whole time you're trying to like manage your horse's stamina, get it in a good position in between the rounds. Okay. Um, and then there is like little power up cards. It's still like you know, it's it's six of hearts or whatever, but it's like highlighted special, so it it gives your horse a bonus. So there's a, you don't know, there's a little bit of stink, but it is you know it's solitaire. And then yeah. the very last round, you actually get cuts to like, and the horses are racing the entire time behind the screen. Right. Um, right. But then from there, the last leg of it, you're actually moving your horse up and down to dodge other horses and try and try and win. Okay. Yeah. So that's the. That's the little curveball to it. Yeah, that it's not just you, like solitaire. Yeah, you do also have to race your horse. Mm-hmm. Um, but so you just play a couple of rounds of solitaire to really secure your position for that final lap. Yeah. Which hey, I think it it hits, and you're collecting horses the whole time. I think that's like the only thing that's reminiscent of the Game Freak we know is that you're the- collecting horses, and sometimes. Uh, I think in typical fashion, horses are owned by rich people and then they, you know, kind of sponsor them with a jockey. So you'll get like little story bits from your horses as well. They'll all have their own like owners who are like big assholes and stuff. Yeah. But uh, it's it's nice. I did not play it for my screen time was not up an average of four hours. (laughs) But it has been nice to play solitaire until I just fall asleep and then have to start the race over again in the morning. (laughs) That does sound nice. I kind of want to check this out. If for no other reason than like, it's weird. Yeah, the dialogue is hilarious. Your guy is such a a generous little cornball. Yeah. He's very wholesome. Now, it it must be like um, being at like a buffet when you get a a subscription of Apple Arcade. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything else when... You're at the buffet table. Yeah, so uh, I guess to kind of go along with the damn, what was the chess game you just said? Really bad chess. Really bad chess. Uh, what the golf? Have you Dude, heard? What of... the golf is so good. Okay, <laughs> this this game rules. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just because, like, immediately, like, yeah, you know, you're hitting the ball, and then like it'll cut to it's just like the club there. You just you throw the club, or like you're kicking a house down the road. Yeah. But then like in in between, like it uh dropped me almost in what felt like a portal esque, like aperture labs area. Mm-hmm. Uh I I like it. It like references other games in that way. Yeah. And that's like not uh like cheesy. It's like actually good. <laughs> like it takes the mechanics of other games and applies it to golf. Yeah. I was like, like once I got this, I have not played Pocket Card Jockey since. It's so good. I mean, it's like two days or whatever, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what the golf is good. Um, I don't know what else I should be playing on Apple Arcade. So I, I was also playing Fantasian, which is like a a Square Enix, like I don't know, the phone version of a uh, you know, classic RPG. But it's yeah, all the sets are made with like actual diorama pieces. So like 
it's like thousands and thousands of photos of set pieces that are actually put together for the maps. Which is so cool. It's absolutely stunning to look at. It doesn't do anything really different in like, it just feels like a kind of new Final Fantasy JRPG. Mm -hmm. It's not a standout one, but looking at it is very nice. And it's got controller support, but my phone doesn't fit. (laughs) Did you ever have to make a diorama in school? Yeah, I love those. I mean, I'm sure once it becomes your job, it's like less fun when you have to take like thousands of pictures of thousands of different Uh, dioramas. Especially, could you imagine your boss coming in like, hey, I need a diorama of an entire world. Can you do that like real quick? I need it by, I need it on my desk by, (laughs) by 5 p.m. (laughs) <laughs> yeah the entire that's some, world <laughs> that's someone's job yeah yeah um no it's probably miserable yeah uh do you have any other like recommendations i feel like you had apple arcade for a bit or maybe still do yeah which is where i definitely played what the golf um the only thing that i have written down that i remember enjoying is card of darkness that i, I feel like you might enjoy as well okay is uh why does that name sound familiar so it's a card game designed by Penn Ward, the uh, Adventure Time guy. Oh, that's why it sounds familiar. Okay. I was looking up phone games and I saw that recommend recommended, but only recognized his name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's got like so much of the Adventure Time aesthetic, which works for me. Like that's how I will be sold. Yeah. I like it. Soft, soft art styles. Like, yeah. Soft, soft colors, rounded corners. <laughs> which I... Very random sidebar, but um, yeah. <laughs> Natalie's mother was here. Yeah, my my wife Natalie, dear listeners, but uh, her mother was here yesterday, and Bluey was on. Yeah, and she's like, "Why is the art so simple? <laughs> like in a bad way? Yeah, in a bad way." Ugh. And I'm watching. I'm like, Bluey's playing. They're currently having. Um, it's like a completely silent episode where they just have like soft piano music playing throughout the yeah. entire like eight minute runtime or whatever and it's just it, it is art but <laughs> it's like why are the lines so simple what what is this a children's show yeah what is this for babies and we were watching it with rowan so <laughs> it should be more like the mona lisa yeah it should be it should be praised I, dude bluey it, bluey is art i i love it rowan be sleeping and i just leave it on that show is gorgeous like the color palette is amazing yeah like i would put it up there so like you look at dragon ball z and like one piece really anything from toei animation their color palettes that they use for all their characters are just so distinguishable where you could see like orange and blue and be like that's that's a goku those are yeah. goku blocks i think blue is <laughs> right in there too yeah definitely um i hmm, see apple arcade Car- card of darkness any other what else should I be doing on this thing? I'm trying my the, the my like shattered my old phone, so like I just bit the bullet and got like an the expensive iPhone. So I'm trying to make it worth it. <laughs> you got like really angry and threw it, right? No, it just like fell a thousand times because I didn't have a case on it. I I thought you were playing like uh what were you playing? You were playing Super Mario sixty four and like and it you missed stinks. the star. You missed the star and you got really angry. Yeah, no, the the chain chomp bit me because I wanted to get close to it. Yeah. So I threw my phone right in the trash and it broke. Yeah. He said, who broke it? And it was me. Yep. (laughs) I I also tried to play Genshin Impact. I I deleted that again. Okay. I've never tried that. Uh, I mean, it's it does kind of do that Breath of the Wild thing, but you also collect anime characters yeah seems right up my alley actually yeah i don't know why that wouldn't work for you (laughs) me either um you you do the uh netflix games stuff on mobile i forget it exists like up until somebody asks if i've played the netflix games yeah and then they say immortality they say into the breach Mm -hmm. into the breach is one i want yeah into the breach is so good but have you ever tried point b what did you just call me (laughs) the game is called point b which is the just the worst name point b 
like one word i can't even google this i don't know what i'm typing point P. i know point p-o-i-n-p-y i point, think point b oh netflix point b the icon looks like picasso yeah which well, i don't know why all picassos are so simple oh why is the line so simple oh okay this is devolver i guess so does um, not look like a devolver game <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar enough, but you're you're just like a little guy, and uh, I know this game, Richie. Oh, you do? There's a there's a monster. Well, there's like a cat monster. Yeah, monster's a strong word. It's like a cute monster, and you're throwing food down a hole. No, you're traveling up like a well, and uh, you have a certain amount of jumps, but they reset when you land, and you have to make the monster a smoothie. So you have to collect. The fruit that it wants in its smoothie before you land. Did that make sense? Yeah. Does it eat you if you... Because I imagine the cat is coming up the well behind you. Or is it... Okay. Will it eat you if it doesn't get a smoothie? No, I think you just turn into like a cute ghost or something. So it does kill you? No, I think you... No, it does kill you. You know, you're right. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. There's no way around this. I think it kills you. Yeah, I think it like kills you with like a laser beam or something. Oh, that sounds terrible. It it's not violent. Like the cat doesn't pull out a gun and like, yeah, it doesn't look. It's like cute. It's very violent. <laughs> it's- <laughs> All right, I'll have to try Point B. I'm I'm coming around on the phone games just because there is a lot of them on here, and I just got to find one that clicks. So far, what the golf is incredible. Sure. Um. I do recommend you try pocket car jockey. Okay, sure. Um, I I also, I realize I don't know how to play solitaire. So that was kind of a fun learning experience too. You didn't play on like Windows 97? No, everyone else played solitaire. I was in the space pinball game. (laughs) More of a Minesweeper guy? Uh, I would play Minesweeper, but you set the like grid really big and you set the amount of mines really small so you click anywhere on the grid and it basically uh reveals the entire map so no i didn't i guess really enjoy the the thrill of minesweeper either yeah i wonder if there was like a minesweeper shouldn't have an easy mode discourse in like (laughs) 1998 i i wish i could find that i might have to go digging in, in game facts and I think that's probably the last like bit of ye old game archive, right? Like, oh boy, is it As- Assy? A S C I I? You like all those? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's like when people make art with just like keyboard symbols. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like if I were to search Garfield, A S C I I, you'll definitely get like some inappropriate stuff. I think. Yeah. So here, I found some Garfield almost immediately. I'll send it your way. There you go. Looks like Garfield, yeah. right? Let's get my reaction live. Dude, it did not copy and paste correctly at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. This is like <laughs> I, I like that it did an emoji in the middle. <laughs> it's reminiscent of Garfield. If I like cross my eyes a little bit. Yeah, if you tilt your head to the side and think of lasagna you'll see it yeah goodness um well i think my uh my toilets are probably calling to me again hey is your toilet running well then you better go here can you see garfield in this one no (laughs) (laughs) dude why aren't these freaking sending right these are just some like avant-garde golfs here let me me, um let me take a screenshot this one has someone's name on it do you see Oh, yeah, that's Garfield to me. Yeah, so most like GameFact articles, their guides start with some assy art. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Well, you're (laughs) acting like Garfield doesn't exist. I just didn't know the term. (laughs) You're saying I'm the only one who can see Garfield. (laughs) He's in the room with me right now. What if um, I Berenstain Bears like gaslit you into thinking that you're the only one who knows who Garfield is. Uh, I would believe it, honestly. I have some weird Garfield art on my tablet. This is true. <laughs> I have some Garfield t-shirts. I wonder if I designed them. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm gonna go play on my phone in the in. Oh no, I don't have toilets. No, you gotta catch your toilet real quick. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Um, richcrudel.tumblr.com. Oh, Jesus. Beast mood uh, James at mstdn.games. GGA podcast, YouTube, wherever you like to listen to them. Um, Google GGA advance. Damn it. Yeah, you got it. Peace. Later. <laughs>